Leomar on the outside and going between horses, Papal Motel as they straight now for the final flight. Ineffable with on the near side trying to challenge as they come to the last Papal Motel and over the last it's Ineffable from Papal Motel on the near side but as they go close home, Ineffable is the winner by a length and a half. Leomar on the outside and going between horses, Papal Motel as they straight now for the final flight. Ineffable with on the near side trying to challenge as they come to the last Papal Motel and over the last it's Ineffable from Papal Motel on the near side but as they go close home Ineffable is the winner by a length and a half beats Papal Motel Bracklin Princess is third and Leo Mar is fourth On they come to the second last now, and as they landed there, it's on the near side, Kilbarry, Kashti, Barry, John Foley. Boxing on on the far side is Nicaragua and Katie O'Farrell. As they come to the final flight now, and still there's precious little between them. Running up towards the finish, Kilbarry, Kashti on the near side has got up to beat. On the inside, Nicaragua. With on they come to the second last now, and as they landed there, it's on the near side, Kilbarry, Kashti, Barry, John John Foley. Boxing on on the far side is Nicaragua and Katie O'Farrell as they come to the final flight now and still there's precious little between them. Running up towards the finish, Kelbarry Kashti on the near side has got up to beat on the inside. Nicaragua with back in third, little sticker rhubarb ahead of galloping anger, Poppets Prince and US Navy Seal. And then Tin Town Robin and Kira Royale as they race now for the final flight. And it's Eric the third within the center. A silent son, Tin Town Robin. On the near side, joining in as I slipped and Charles Brune at the last. I slipped from last to first. Held up for most of the journey. Has come straightening through now. And I slip is another for David O'Brien here. And then Tin Town Robin and Kira Royale as they race now for the final flight. And it's Eric the third within the center. Enter a silent son, Tin Town Robin. On the near side, joining in as I slipped and Charles Brune at the last. I slipped from last to first. Held up for most of the journey, has come straightening through now. And I slip is another for David O'Brien here and uh, Sean Flanagan, Tin Town Robin, Charles Brune. Polish partisan Palius the Charmel, one flight to jump. Prince Galliantel maintains a clear advantage, racing to the final flight. Freedom Square, good sign Milan is running on in between horses, then Palius the Charmel, but this is all over. Prince Galliantel and Andrew Lynch are way out in front and take this 2 5 handicap in fine style. Second is Palius the Charmel, my Polish partisan Palius the Charmel, one flight to jump. Prince Galliantel maintains a clear Clear advantage, racing to the final flight. Freedom Square, good sign Milan is running on in between horses than Pelias the Charmel, but this is all over. Prince Galliantel and Andrew Lynch are way out in front and take this 2-5 handicap in fine style. Second is Pelias de Charmel, Milestone Prince is third. Then At the second last, it's presenting Julio and Jamie Codd in the lead. Racing now to the final fence, presenting Julio from Willow Grange, being followed by Wild and Wild and Old Time Melody. Coming to the final fence now, the leader is presenting Julio, jumped it well. Willow Grange and Wild and Wild come next, but pushed out by Jamie Codd to record his 33rd winner. At the second last, it's presenting Julio and Jamie Codd in the lead. Racing now to the final fence, presenting Julio from Willow Grange, being followed by Wild and Wild and Old Time Melody. Coming to the final fence now, the leader is presenting Julio, jumped it well. Willow Grange and Wild and Wide come next, but pushed out by Jamie Codd to record his 33rd winner of the season. Presenting Julio has won from Willow Grange, Wild and Wide, and Old Time Melody. October Revolution, the far side is Island Master. Not a lot to choose between them now as they race to the final fence. Dimple and Island Master, so in third place is October Revolution. And now at the last, Dimple from Island Master. And a faller there was October Revolution. But it's Dimple set to bounce back here. 
for Liam Quinlan and Andy Slattery, Diptober Revolution, the far side is Island Master. Not a lot to choose between them now as they race to the final fence. Dimple and Island Master, so in third place is October Revolution. And now at the last, Dimple from Island Master. And a faller there was October Revolution. But it's Dimple set to bounce back here for Liam Quinlan and Andy Slattery. Dimple has won from Island Master. Touchy a long way behind in third, with so influential in fourth and fifth. Joyce has dropped off them, Ben Brody has followed then as they race into the straight, a long way behind to Lochner Valley, but it's Fort Montague chased to the final furlong by Orjun de Somoza, but in the lead still is Fort Montague from Orjun de Somoza, they're clear from Billy's Angel and upwards the finish Fort Montague has made every inch of it for Finney Maguire Joyce has dropped off them, Ben Brody has followed then as they race into the straight, a long way behind to Lochner Valley, but it's Fort Montague chased to the final furlong by Orjun de Somoza but in the lead still is Fort Montague from Orjun de Somoza they're clear from Billy's Angel and upwards the finish Fort Montague has made every inch of it for Finney Maguire and John Nicholson to beat Orjun de Somoza close for the third between Billy's Angel and Shaky Try. Ballandaboul is still next with Ben Brody.